Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hotness. Today, reviewing another beer that was sent from Joe, aka Jaws Arcade, here on YouTube in a beer trade. So, this is going to be the first review I do of a barrel aged Modern Times beer. Oh, yes. Um, big fan of Modern Times, even though I haven't had too much of their stuff. Um, I've had a small amount at CBC, mainly their barrel aged stuff, actually. <laughs> actually, this beer in numerous variations, but I've reviewed only. City of the Dead, Black House, Mega Black House, and now this one. So, not a lot, but hopefully that will change. Hopefully we'll see more, because once in a while they pop up in Europe. But, really looking forward to this one, guys. This is one of the main events of the trades, because I tried so many beers in this series, or so many, but a few in this series at CBC that I loved. This is none other than the Modern Times Monsters Park 2016 Limited Release uh, Imperial Stout with coffee aged in bourbon barrels on 13%. They, I love that they put everything on here on the side. It's got stout malt, never heard of that, pale ale malt, chocolate, midnight wheat, crystal 120, roasted barley, black barley, and cherry smoked malt. Now that sounds cool. Um, and then they age the beer in fragrant bourbon barrels and at, uh, it's, it's, it's loaded with their house roast coffee which is really cool, but we don't only have this bad boy here. We also have some cold brew from Modern Times. <laughs> this is the Modern Times cold brewed Black House blend. So, uh, not this is not gonna be a real review, of course, but it's a cold brew coffee in a can. Never seen coffee in a can. Uh, but Joe sent this along. I think he did it as an extra because he saw how much I love the coffee flavor of Black House. Uh, so this is the coffee they use in Black House. It's the exact blend. 90% Ethiopian coffee and 10% Sumatran coffee. That's it says here it tastes like blueberry chocolate and sex. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I thought this would be fun to do side by side. Just have a co the coffee, Cobra coffee with a coffee Imperial Stout. Uh, even though, in burn barrels, even though it's not, I don't think it's the same coffee they use in the Monsters Park bourbon barrel age with coffee. Uh, from this year at least. But still, I think it would make for a fun video. Who knows, maybe even do a little bit of coffee, extra coffee editions, I don't know. We'll see. Let's check out the beer first of all. And we got the Modern Times uh, Monsters Park Bourbon Barrel Aged Edition with coffee poured, and that pours pretty much a pitch black color. It's got a bit of light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass, like a reddish note. But other than that, it's a really nice kind of beige looking head. It smells really bourbon forward, so really looking forward to this one really dug on the uh, Mega Black House and like the other coffee beers from from uh, Modern Times. So let's check out the aroma on this bad boy. <laughs> a smack in the face with bourbon and vanilla. Whoa, there was a lot of bourbon and vanilla. Oh, and there you get some of the coffee, that kind of nutty espresso cold brew-esque note. I mean, the, the it smells a lot like coffee in this room because we got both coffee stout and cold brew coffee We're in the kitchen here but Really vanilla forward and almondy Really intense like that bourbon vanilla Almond soaked kind of aroma to it Dry oakiness It's definitely what dominates the coffee is there too, but it's not like intense It's got like that kind of fudgy brownie chocolatey not picking up with like smoke as they like since they use that cherry wood smoke malt, but very chocolatey too with dark and milky chocolate. It smells really nice. It's making my saliva go. So let's try Monsters Park Bourbon Barrel Aged Edition with coffee. Cheers and thanks to Tom Joe for this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a bourbon bomb. Oh, it's got a really nice, creamy, chewy mouthfeel to it. Got a bit of heat from the 13%, but not too bad at all. And there comes the coffee with the roast on the back end. That kind of fresh brewed coffee flavor with the um, the um, kind of roasty, toasty, like nutty notes too. This is really freaking good. Not the fullest of Imperial Stouts. It's like, it's full and it's a bit sludgy, but it's not like super like thick and dense. It's not as rich and dense. There's a bit of a warmth. It's not really boozy or anything. It's got a warmth, that kind of bourbon 
intense fl bourbon flavor with like the bourbon and the oak and the vanilla and almondy flavor again. There's chocolate. I can almost like feel like my face like going warmer <laughs> drinking this <laughs> just because I think the beers we just, we just went from a not super high ABV to something like this. So we're doing a bit of a share. But really nice vanilla coffee, kind of chocolate, kind of nutty notes to it. That kind of hazelnut thing is there. It's got a bit of that kind of fudgy, chocolatey, almost like cakey type flavor, but it's not going all in. It's still got definitely like that like really nice, more classic American, uh, very roasty, uh, chocolatey coffee for it, Imperial Stout. And it's not all the way into like that huge cake batter thing that some do. Uh, and it's got a little bit of dark fruit, like in kind of like a British, more traditional Imperial Stout. It's got like lots of like dark fruit and raisins and figs and all that. It's got a bit of that, but not, it's not too much. It's more focused on like roasty, chocolatey, coffee type flavors with that nice vanilla flavor. Really, really nice Imperial Stout. Let's uh, take a break from the beer. Let's try the coffee, just, I mean, totally random, but hey, changing things up a bit. So, I mean, it doesn't look like coffee to me. It looks a whole lot less dark. Usually, I. I drink coffee hot. Uh, I don't really drink um, cold brew that often. I've had it a few times, I enjoy it. And I think you get maybe more complexities, but I'm used to, you know, pitch black dark coffee in the morning with like espresso type stuff. But it looks nice to take all the aroma on it. And even drink, wow, that smells really good. Um, <laughs> even drinking out of a three fontaine and wine glass <laughs> looks so stupid. But that smells fucking awesome. I don't know about the blueberry notes they talk about, but I think like it's harder to pinpoint aromas in coffee and, and flavors because it's more subtle than, than like beer and imperial stout for this instance. But definitely see that kind of is it brownie chocolatey thing. I don't, the blueberry, I'm not really smelling that. They said hazelnuts, right? And no, there is a chocolate brownie essence. And well, yeah, chocolate, I see that for sure. That definitely seems more complex. This smells really nice though. Let's try it. Cheers. Wow, fairly high acidity actually to it. Like it's got an, an acidity to it. The chocolate. I maybe see more of the blueberry thing on the flavor. And maybe oranges too. But damn, that is awesome coffee. I just prefer it warm. But it says served chilled on the side and refrigerated. I, I, it's similar to something like iced coffee or something, but it's just a different way of doing it. I've never done cold brew myself. I've seen videos on it. No means a coffee expert. I just enjoy a nice uh, cup of coffee and uh, grind my beans, the beans myself, use an AeroPress. Not a coffee freak. I just enjoy like a nice cup of coffee. But yeah, that is really good. And I can see a similar kind of coffee character uh, in something like this. I, I can't per se say if it's similar to Black House because I haven't had Black House in a while now. It's been a while since I had it, but that was very coffee forward, and that is some very coffee forward coffee. <laughs> Sounds so stupid, but now nah, this is great in Brazil style. Hmm. Mm hmm. Blending. Ooh. That's actually really good. That was just blending in the mouth, even though I should have got a, a separate glass for that. But I kind of didn't want to pour cold coffee into the beer. But that kind of amplifies the, the kind of coffee flavor for sure. Like, of course it does, because it's fucking coffee I'm sipping on with, with the beer. But Hmm. It definitely amplifies like that acidic flavor of the coffee and whatnot, but I mean, it's stupid to kind of say it because it's straight coffee, but I can see a similar flavor profile on the coffee nuances from the cold brew in this beer. I don't think it's this exact blend, but I can definitely see a similarity, but no, this is great freaking Imperial Stout, a barrel aged Imperial Stout. It's a bit, is it the best I've had? No. I still think one of the best I had in this series, like I had a few different ones at CBC and I think the best was like, was it rum coconut chocolate something? It was fucking awesome. I think Joe recently reviewed that with uh, Nathan, Nathan Ryerson. It's fucking killer stuff. And this is really damn good too. If you're into big coffee imperial stouts with tons of barrel -like flavor, this is definitely up your alley. So rating wise for the Modern's, modern's Modern Times Monsters Park Bourbon Barrel Aged Edition, 
with coffee. Mmm. Oh, that's a great bourbon character and coffee character. It's it's intense yet kind of balanced too. Um, I'm debating on 96 or 97. Let's go 97. It's fucking awesome. It's got so much intense. It's like world class imperial stuff. Like the barrel character is so intense. My biggest beef with it is like it's a bit lighter. But it, here in Scandinavia, we're pretty spoiled with awesome Imperial stuff. But this video is running long, so uh, let me know, guys, what you think of the Monster Spark Bourbon Barrel Age Edition with coffee from this year, if you've had a chance to try it. And also, what do you think of cold brew coffee? Do you have a favorite coffee roaster? Especially you guys in Europe. I'd love to get some recommendations on good coffee roasters. I really like Coffee Collective. We have one locally called... Um, uh, Behaved in Smay, and we also have one in Denmark called Castellil, which is pretty good, but yeah, let me know guys, and uh, yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and thanks a ton to Joe for the beer and the coffee. Check out his channel, guys, Jaws Arcade, there's going to be a link here in a minute, and I want to say cheers, and see you guys in another beer review.